right guys so i thought i'd come and do like a quick little intro for what this video is about i wanted to give a little bit of a quick clarification on a few of my story times um while i'm getting ready doing my makeup so you know if you see this and then you get shocked with me when I first woke up in the morning. That's what that is. But I hope this gives a little bit of a clarification to a couple of things. If not, if you want more clarification or you really, you just not vibing with it, let me know. But um, I just wanted to give that quick little intro. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And um, also, cause I forgot to do an outro. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And yeah. so it's kind of bright and early and i have places to go but i really wanted to sit down and get this kind of out there um yeah this is gonna be my first time but i kind of have to clear things up i have to really sit down and kind of explain some things to y'all so if you want to go ahead y'all already know what's up when it comes to my get ready with me i'm literally doing the same makeup i do every single day i just want to talk while i'm doing my makeup okay so just so there's context with that so let's jump right into it shall we because I'm not that I have a lot to say. I just feel like I kind of want to get what I have to say out if that if that makes sense, right? So let's like have a real chat. Let's have a real sit down and let's let's talk like homegirls, okay? So I just posted my whole roommate story time best friend situation, okay? And I've seen this on a couple of my story times and it just kind of got a little amplified when I did the roommate story times, right? So first things first that I want to get um, out the way before, before I even get into that, because kind of this part is a little bit more serious. When I did my toxic relationship video, I mentioned that oh if they say that they're gonna themselves like they're they're not going to or whatever when I said that um I meant that in the sense of like when they're trying to manipulate you like when somebody is manipulating you into being with them or feeling bad for leaving them you know after they treat you garbage and they want to like pull that card that's what i was talking about i i have a certain way that i talk right and it's not right all the time it actually gets me in a lot of trouble there's just a certain way that i talk that i speak very just i don't want to say like simple but it's just like i don't really think too deep into things i just say how i feel them so in that instance, because I was just directing it towards my ex and I'm just like, yeah, no, he's not going to do that. Like they do that all the time. Like I'm talking about his type and I have something in my eye. I'm like, I was speaking directly to that type. I know that there are people out there that will and I probably shouldn't have said it like that. And that's kind of like, I have a little bit of conflictions because I know what I meant, but obviously you guys don't know what I meant. And, you know, people have brought it to my attention. It's, it's not just one person. I've gotten it brought to my attention quite a few times. And I really do think that I should have clarified that when I said that. Um, I still stand with what I said in regards to like when people try to manipulate you into being with them like it's not your responsibility if something happens to them and i think it's really not fair to the other person for you like for someone to just put that on you to put that responsibility and to put that threat on you i don't think that that's fair to the person because you know at the end of the day we all go through stuff and we all go through emotions and that's you know we have to deal with our own stuff you know so that that's kind of why i mean i stand by what i said but i also didn't want 
people to think that I'm just like, oh, if somebody says that, like, just write it off. Like, oh, whatever. Like, I don't know. That was just poor communication on my part. So there's that. Now, in regards to my recent story time. Okay. I am one of those people that I just say what happened. I'm not going to alter my stories to make myself look better. I'm not going to alter my stories to make the other person look worse. Like I've said, these are my story times. This is how I saw it through me, through my emotions, through everything that I went through with the situation. A lot of times, I think some people are like understanding i have to take out a lot of stuff in a story time otherwise my story times are going to be ten thousand years long because if i sit here and i tell you oh there was this time that she did this and there was another time that she did this no like that doesn't make sense i'm not going to waste your time i'm just going to tell you the big stuff that happened i made like little captions and stuff within the video saying like oh, this wasn't the first time, but this one was the time that it set me off, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. You know, just to kind of give a little bit of like clarification, but I guess that wasn't enough. Um, but it it is true. Like there are so many things that happen within a story that I can't just say all of it. So a lot of times it's left out. Now with that specific story time, I knew I was gonna come off a kind of way. I already knew that off rip because that story happened like a long, well for me, it was like a long time ago, but it happened a while ago, right? As I stated in that video, I was going through a lot, a lot of things. So, did I handle things, you know, correctly? No. And that's what made the story time a story time. If in a perfect world, I was just the perfect friend and the perfect roommate, and I did everything, you know, so perfect and everything, it wouldn't be a story to tell. And that's the thing, like, it's a story because all the stuff that happened. I didn't want to go in on the girl. Like, I didn't want to go in on Paris because it doesn't do anything for me. I have my story time. I'm going to say the story how, you know, it went, like the big stuff. But I'm also not in the business. Like, I said my truth, but I'm not going to sit here and just dog her out. I'm not going to insult her. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, you're a bum. You're this, you're that, da, 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 da. Like, I don't, I don't need to do that to get a good story or to say my story. I just said everything that happened through my experience of when it happened. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here. When I was editing it, I was just like, dang, I look like a crybaby. Like, I look like, oh, anytime I have a problem, I just stop talking. <laughs> and, you know, and that's not how it is. But even with that, at that time, like, I I was in a completely different headspace that I was in, that I'm in now. Thinking back on it, I would do a lot of things differently. I would have approached things completely different. But, you know, you can't take it back now. So I'm just going to tell you the story how it happened. You know, not all my, not all stories have like this you know clear line of like oh I was right she was wrong I never said I was right in how I acted I never said that you know you should do this or you know whatever like there was just certain things that obviously I left out for the both of us but then it was also things that like what can I say I got mad and I just stopped talking to her that's it like i'm not gonna sit here and say that i'm right like the same thing like should i have told her i was gonna punch her in the face no 
But at the time, that's how I felt and that's what I said. Could I have left that out? I could have, but why? Because that's that's a part of the story. That was the main part of the story. If I would have left out, oh, I told her I was going to punch her in the face, then it wouldn't make sense as to why she was sitting here and be like, oh, you're going to punch the walls. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I have to tell the story how it went. And it's the same thing with my other story times when people are like, oh, you were unprofessional. You did this. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> well, on, honestly, what do you want me to do about it? It happened. I can't take it back. I've learned from it. I wouldn't do certain things now, but I'm not going to sit here and cry about, you know, how I miss, messed up situations and things like that. Okay, so I thought I would just go ahead and speed up the process and get a couple things started. But as I was saying, so with my story times, right? I look bad. <laughs> I look bad. I look like I'm just always falling out with people and I, you know, oh, I don't know what it is. This is why I don't have friends. Oh, people are so mean to me. People are this, that, and the third to me, blah, blah, blah. That's what it looks like. I'm, you know, duh. That's what it looks like. However, <laughs> I do have a few like people that I talk to, right? And I appreciate those people that I talk to, but I just, I don't have like those, like, you know, what I talk about in other videos. I just don't have those group of friends or I don't have like, you know, a friend group or anything because I know how I am, okay? I am a very sensitive person but i'm like a sensitive person in the sense of like things hurt my feelings things make me upset things make me mad and then i just shut down i'm not a sensitive person in the way of like oh anytime something bothers me i'm gonna you know cry or i'm gonna send you ten thousand paragraphs about why i'm upset no i'm not like that I am a sensitive person in the sense that, you know, things bother me and things bug me and I just stay quiet. Is it childish? Sure. Is it the most like conductive thing to do? Probably not if you want, you know, a group of friends. However, I'm not apologetic about it because like I don't have a problem not having friends. I would much rather, you know, have a select few than a bunch of people. And if you've done something that, you know, has hurt my feelings or made me feel the type of way, like, I don't have to continue that. Like, I don't have to continue on. Like, you know, I had plenty of conversations with Paris about things that she did. Very civil, regular conversations. Like, hey, I don't think that that was cool. Like, I don't think that was nice, blah, blah, blah. Like... Hey, like, you know, I'm not gonna lie. It made me feel the type of way that you did that. Like, I've had plenty of conversations with her about stuff. And she would be like, oh, okay. Like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that, blah, blah, blah. And then she would do stuff like what I said in the story time. That's why it would just be like, you know what? At this point, I'm just not, I'm not gonna say anything to you anymore because you, I, you know what bothers me. You know what gets me going. And yet... Like, you still do them. So, obviously, you don't care. So, if you don't care enough to, like, fix it, like, I don't care enough to continue telling you what's wrong, you know? That's what I was, like, that's what doesn't come across in the story time because, I mean, I can't fault y'all for saying, you know, your opinions. Like, you don't know that. Hello? Like, I didn't say it. So, like, how would you know that? But it's just stuff like that where it's, like, like, I'm telling you the story to be entertaining, but obviously y'all don't know like the full on story because who wants to hear that? Uh, also, like, you know, YouTube is YouTube. Like, what's entertaining? Do you guys want me to tell you a story about how I met this person and we became great friends and we just have an amazing friendship? Boring. Like, y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all want to hear the juice. Like, y'all want to hear the tea. Like, you want to know about how, like, oh, I was friends with this girl. I found out she was fake. Da, 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 da. We almost fought this, that, you know. That's what you guys want to hear. So, yeah, I get it. I look very problematic. But also, this has gone on, like, 
this is like a span of years that stuff has happened to me and like different friendships and stuff but like I'm just saying the bad stuff I'm only highlighting the bad stuff which I mean it's very negative if you really think about it but that's what y'all want to see y'all don't want me to be like oh when I went to Starbucks and I met this really cool girl <laughs> no nobody wants to watch that so like I mean I'll take my phone like obviously I got people telling me like that you know it's kind of sad because I really liked when my YouTube was really like small because it was just people that liked me <laughs> but now I'm getting like as my channel's growing I'm getting more of like the sassier comments which I mean I laugh at them but it's like you know, obviously, I can take the fact that I look problematic because I do. Like, I, from my YouTube, I look like I hate doing hair and I am a toxic person who can't keep friends. That's, that's just what it is. So, I mean, I can't really do much about it. That's why I say, like, you know, if you like it, like, that's how I've just been in life. Like, if you like me, then you like me. If you don't, you don't. Like, it is what it is. I don't really... I don't really know what to tell people. But I do think I should clarify some things. Because I just don't... I, I, ooh, I almost choked. <clears throat> At least I can reference this video when people bring this stuff up about how, you know, oh, if you keep falling out with friends and you keep doing this, maybe you're the problem. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I just kind of wanted to say that because I just wanted to clarify a few things because I know in my last story time, it was really my last story time that I kind of got mixed reviews and I've gotten in, in quite a few story times, honestly, like in the, um, the love triangle from Satan. I'm not saying that I didn't put some of that on myself. Okay. I had, you know, like, going back in time, right, to when all that was going on, I had spite in my heart. Yes, this girl is literally, like, that's what I'm saying. I talk about it in that perspective of when what was going through my head in that time. That girl was claiming that I was trying to be with her man and I was, you know, I was talking to him when I wasn't. Like, I genuinely wasn't talking to her man. But she kept saying that I was. And because of what she was saying, my ex was going crazy and doing all the stuff that he was. So, you know what? My mindset was, you know what? You want to sit here and say that I'm talking to your man when I'm not? Well, I'm going to take your man and I'm going to show you how much I can really do that. That was my mindset. Is that right? No, like that is so childish. And that is, you know, I, I'm I'm very well aware that I put um a portion of what happened to me in that situation. I was the one, you know, I put that on myself because honestly, I didn't have no business dealing with her ex. Knowing how crazy that girl was, knowing the things that she was doing, like I kind of set myself up, but at the same time, like I was young, I was dumb and I was spiteful. I wanted her to understand, like, not only do you want my ex, but you want your ex back because I'm going to take him from you. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that like, I mean, I can't really explain all that kind of stuff because like I said, my stories would be like 10 years long, but it was just my mindset at the time. It was just how I was feeling at the time. And I can't, I can't go back in time. I can only learn. Now, now I know because like some things are just really not that deep. 
you know, some things aren't that deep and I've learned that, you know, you just shouldn't react to certain things. You shouldn't, because like, let me give y'all a little bit of story on me. Me in high school, you would get a reaction out of anything. That was me. You know, I just, and I just, I didn't like that. It didn't work for me. So when I graduated out, like from high school, I graduated or whatever, I kind of turned the complete opposite where it's just like, you're just not going to get a reaction out of me. I'm just not going to talk to you. Like, that's just kind of how I turned. Like, I stopped giving people reactions. I stopped explaining things. I stopped doing that. And so now that I'm older and, you know, going from 16, 17 to 18, 19 to now 21, 20, or what? 21, 22, I'm learning that like, no, you shouldn't react to everything, but you shouldn't just shut down either. You need to be able to communicate. That is a part of life. That is a part of growing. And that's what I'm trying to do. And while I'm doing it, I might as well tell y'all the stories about the times that I was just problematic and what I've been through and why I act the way I do now. You know, I just feel like transparency is a big deal. Like, that's why I feel like I relate to some people more because like, I'm not like, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a person that makes YouTubes. That's it. I'm not a YouTuber. And I think that's why a lot of like the people that do subscribe to me, I feel like that's why they, you know, like me because I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, guys, like, you know, we all just we all just have a past and I've grown from it and I've done this. But tell y'all, look, I, I still have a lot of growing up to do. Like, I'm not even remotely close to the maturity level that I need to be, you know? But in the meantime, while I'm being immature, I might as well tell y'all a story about how I'm being immature, okay? You know, like, I just wanted to clear that up because that's really it. I just wanted to give you guys, cause I feel like, you know, you guys are owed a little bit of an explanation because, or like clarification. Because it's like, girl, you came off a type of way and I didn't like it. Like, you know, like we are homegirls. Like if I said something in a video that rubbed you the wrong way and you like me, you genuinely like my videos, but you don't like what I said or how I said it. Yeah, I would like you to be like, hey, girl. Because um, I've gotten a few comments like this. Like, hey, girl, I'm not coming at you any type of way, but I don't think that this came out right. Or, hey, um... You know, I really like your videos and stuff, but you kind of went off like you did not have to do that. My sisters do it to me all the time. My sisters do it to me all the time, but they're like, girl, you did not have to do that. Or you need to calm down and stuff like that. Because I know it's from a place of like, you know, hey, hello, you need to get it together because this wasn't right. I never want to offend anybody. I mean, I'm never going to be like, oh, this is just how I talk. So if you don't like the way I talk, then get out. I don't want to be like that either. But, you know, I'm a person with a lot of emotions. I'm very passionate. I, you know, I feel things deeply. And when I feel them, I, you know, express them very, you know, that's why I say it takes a certain type of person to like, like me. And that's why I really like the fact that I make this YouTube because people in the comments are like, yo, I'm the same way. I think the same way. And I'm like, okay, so I'm not crazy. There are people in this world that think the same things I do. There are people out here that think like, no, that's not cool. I would get mad too. Or I, I think that same way too. And like, I, it's nice that, you know, not only that you guys relate to me, that I relate to you because I'm just like, so I'm not crazy. Like, I get it. Like somebody out there gets it. Like I, oh my God, y'all don't understand. Like I be feeling like, yo, what? Like, I can't be the only one that thinks that's disrespectful. Or I can't be the only one that thinks, like, that's not cool. Or when somebody's sitting here telling me, like, I'm crazy for being mad about something, I'm like, I can't be the only one. I cannot. No. 
I don't I don't accept that. So I mean, it is it is nice to know that like people relate to me. But it's also nice to know to be like, hey girl, um, you and I think the same, but I really think you did. Because I, I do. I think back because like, right, let's go back to the Paris. Let's go reference back to the Paris video. There are things when I'm just like, because when I was editing it, I was like, girl, <laughs> you would just like stop talking to her. Like you wouldn't really tell her what's up. You would just stop talking to her. So she, you know. I'm not saying that I was right or I had, you know, one up on her. I didn't. What that story was mainly about was the fact that, like, really, the, what bothered me about the story, like, if we're getting, like, 100% real, what bothered me about that story is the fact that she would say one thing and do another. You would say how you want to get an apartment with me. You would say you want to do this, that, and the third, and then... When you get mad at me, you talk about how you want to do, like, you want to do something else. Or how she just randomly brought up that she thought I was sleeping in her bed. Like that, like stuff like that where I'm just like, what? Where did that even come from? That's like what really bothered me about the situation. Because I felt like I was dealing with two different people. I had one person that was my best friend and then I had one person who was just like my enemy. You know, whenever she felt like coming out. So that's why like but i see like i'm not stupid i see where i was like i could have handled things a lot differently and i meant to put that little disclaimer but i guess i forgot but i do we were both wrong we were both wrong with how we handled things like i don't think she was right with how she told me about you know the whole wanting to live by herself thing i don't think she was right about that i i won't like i don't but i also don't think i was right in addressing it either like if i i should have asked her right then and there like well what's the deal like where did this come from you know well i think that that's weird that you say that because you know shoulda coulda woulda guys shoulda coulda woulda we could have done things differently i could have done things differently I could have been a different person. She could have been a different person. But really what like makes me mad is the whole thing about the Instagram too. Where it's like, I'm over here, you know, I've accepted the fact that we're not friends, that we could have done things differently. We could have moved on, blah, blah, blah. But you're really going to sit here and be fake like that. And then add me on Instagram. Yeah, no. That's that's not the vibes i don't like it but hopefully this gave you guys a little bit of kind of i don't know a follow-up some clarification as to what i was trying to say in my videos um because i'm not like i'm not gonna sit here and address like haters i haven't even gotten haters which is nice um but i'm not gonna address like negative comments what i will address are the people that genuinely like me and who watch my videos who you know bring stuff up to my attention where they're just like hey i don't like that or you know what's going on you know i don't know if at this point i'm just repeating myself but I'm kind of glad I got everything I needed to say while my makeup is done because now I can go in on perfect timing. So.